So how long will you be working home from but, for, but also how will these measures affect an economy that is still recovering from the impact of previous waves, of restrictions, of previous lockdowns? Hospitality firms have warned they face a collapse in demand at their busiest time of year once again. The government, though, is not planning any new economic support measures. Let's discuss this with Steve Alton, Chief Executive of the British Institute of Inkeeping. Good to talk to you again, Steve. What's the picture like at the moment? Because, of course, you know, inside pubs and hospitality venues, we don't have to wear masks. There aren't any new restrictions in place. But, but what is actually going on in terms of people coming to the pub? Yeah, good morning, Sally. Look, the impact since the restrictions were announced has been simply devastating for, for our pubs. You'll remember we've got about 10,000 members. They run single pubs predominantly across the whole of the UK. And they've been closed or heavily restricted for almost two years. So all those reserves in the business, all those, all those cash, the savings, they built up pandemic-specific debts of over £50,000. So Christmas trading was the only thing that was going to keep them through and give that little bit of resilience through the winter months ahead and actually get them to a point of next Easter and summer where they can genuinely start their recovery. So the impact's been devastating. To give you an idea, three quarters of our members have seen significant Christmas bookings already cancelled with immediate effect as soon as the government announced the restrictions. We've had nearly 50% of non-Christmas bookings. So those those day-to-day -day bookings of people going out together have stopped as well. Overall trade has dropped enormously. And to give you an idea, 90% of those have seen over 20% and more of revenues already lost. And a third have lost over 40%. So these are businesses now are making a loss. They simply don't have the cash to pay the bills. And they've ordered lots of food and drink with the expectation that they could trade fully through this Christmas period and look after their customers. And now they're facing food waste, throwing it away. They're reducing staffing hours. One in four of our pubs are even letting staff go. And they've worked incredibly hard to rebuild their teams to look after their customers so safely. So it's as bad as it gets. And we really now you know, fear in the new year that these viable businesses are just going to be lost to our communities. And so what are you calling for in terms of aid from the government to see you through this very important time of year? Well, two areas of support. One is with customers, you know, to give customers confidence to keep coming to the pub. We've proved time and time again that we've invested heavily in these sites, in training, looking after their safety. The Public Health England stats have always showed less than 2% of infections have ever been tracked back to hospitality. So that's the evidence base about the risk. So keep supporting your local pub because it is a local employer. It supports local suppliers, local brewers who, who depend predominantly on these pubs for selling their beers. But for government, we wrote to the Chancellor directly after the announcements, as soon as we could see the real impact this was going to have, and we're looking for a, a suspension of business rates in the immediate term. This is a huge cost to them, and they're not trading businesses right now. They've been impacted so heavily. The extension of the low rate of VAT to, to summer, at least to the end of June next year. And we're going to see grants needed yet again because we're back to the situation we've had before. But, you know, basically, through no fault, fault of their own, they're, they're now trading down and lost that trade you heard in your previous report. People aren't out and about. And it's not just about city centres. This is affecting pubs across the whole of the UK. All right. Thank you, Steve Alton. And we wish you all the very best in the weeks and the months ahead. It's very difficult to navigate this, isn't it? The safety and the risk versus the impact on economies. I mean, many countries across Europe have had a work from home policy.